Hello there. Welcome to the video on how to find all the cube roots of z equal negative 8. Now remember when we were working just with the real numbers, we would only report the roots that were real numbers. But on the complex plane, we are going to get as many roots as the index. So here we want the cube roots. That would be an index of 3, meaning we will have 3 cube roots of z equal negative 8. Now what I've written down so far is just a review and some identification for some values that we already have. So in a plus bi form, our value for z equal negative 8, our complex number is z equal negative 8 plus 0i because there's not an imaginary part. So identifying that a is negative 8 and b is 0. In order to find the cube roots of negative 8 and get all of them, we want to transition it to polar form. And remember, polar form is z is equal to r times a quantity cosine theta plus i sine theta, where r is the modulus found by the square root of a squared plus b squared, and the tangent of theta is b over a, but also meets the requirement that it puts that complex number in the correct placement on the complex plane. So here, we want to find our modulus. So r is equal to the square root of negative 8 squared plus 0 squared. So that's the square root of 64, which is 8. And then we have that tangent of theta is equal to 0 over negative 8. So that gives me that the tangent of theta is 0, but remember we have to have it to be the angle that would land in the same place as the original complex number. And z equal negative 8 is on the negative real axis from the origin, so we need to have our thought process to be where that would be placed in the complex plane. So we would have it at negative 8 and then 0 up or down, and so our angle for theta needs to be 180 degrees or pi. So now our polar form is r equal 8 times the cosine of pi plus i sine pi. Now from the root theorem we have that our cubed root of our complex number, well we take the modulus, our 8, to the one-third power, still the cubed root, times, and to get all of them, it's cosine of our angle theta divided by the index, and remember our index is 3. So we have pi divided by 3 plus 2 pi k divided by 3, and then we have the plus i times the sine of the same expression and that's where k is equal to first 0, then 1, then 2. And when we do each of those calculations, that will give us the three cube roots of negative 8. So first for k equals 0. Our cube root that we get for that, well 8 to the 1 3rd power is the cube root of 8, which is 2, times a quantity cosine of pi over 3, plus 2 pi times 0 over 3, and that's plus i times the sine of pi over 3 plus 2 pi times 0 over 3. Well, 2 pi times 0 is 0, 0 divided by 3 is 0, and pi over 3 plus 0 is pi over 3. So I have 2 times the cosine of pi over 3 plus i times the sine of pi over 3. And going back to rectangular form, I have, or complex form, I have cosine of pi over 3 is 1 half plus i times the sine of pi over 3 is the square root of 3 over 2. So we have our first cube root here is 2 times a half is 1, 
plus i times the square root of 3 over 2 times 2 is i times the square root of 3. All right, now how about when k is equal to 1? Well, we're going to go through the same process, but we'll just talk it through. So it's 2 times the cosine of, now we're going to replace the k with 1. So thinking back to where we replaced that, 2 pi times 1 is 2 pi over 3. So we have a pi over 3 plus a 2 pi over 3 when k is 1. And sine is acting on the same angle. And then now we have 2 times, well this is the cosine of pi over 3 plus 2 pi over 3 is 3 pi over 3 or pi. And the cosine of pi is negative 1 plus i times the sine of pi is 0. So that gives me a cubed root of negative 2 plus 0 i, which was just negative 2. And lastly, for k equal 2, we have z to the 1 -third, the cubed root of z in this case, is going to be 2 times the cosine of pi over 3 plus, now when k is 2, 2 times 2 pi is 4 pi, so 4 pi over 3 and that's plus i sine of pi over 3 plus 4 pi over 3. And that gives me two times, well the cosine of pi over 3 plus 4 pi over 3 is 5 pi over 3, and the cosine of my 5 pi over 3 is 1 half. And then I have plus i times the sine of pi over 5 pi over 3 is negative the square root of 3 over 2. Remember 5 pi over 3 is in the fourth quadrant. So my z to the 1 third is 1 and then 2 times i times negative the square root of 3 over 2 is a minus i times the square root of 3. And so there you have the three cube roots of negative eight.